Hello, and welcome to this installation guide for Anchor Solix Micro Inverter, MI80S and MI80L. Anchor Solix Micro Inverters help you easily build a modular solar power system that's compatible with Anchor Solix X1 Energy Storage System. Anchor Solix Micro Inverters feature frequency shift control, an algorithm that streamlines communication between X1 and the micro inverter. Frequency shift control supports up to 20 kilowatts of solar input. Here's a look at what's included in your Anchor Solix Micro Inverter package. Before installing the micro inverter, please make sure you have these tools ready for use. Check your blueprints to find your micro inverter's installation location. Prepare the DC extension cables for the solar panels. We suggest purchasing cables pre-adjusted to the correct length with attached DC connectors. We're now ready to begin wiring, starting with the AC bus cable. Lay the AC bus cable along the solar panel rack. Make sure each bus cable is in a suitable location to connect the microinverter. Connect one end of the AC bus cable to the AC extension cable through an AC connector or junction box. Connect the AC extension cable branches to the Anchor Solix X1 backup controller, either directly or through a combiner box first. Next, attach the microinverters to the racks. First, use a marker to mark the microinverter installation locations on the racks. Secure the microinverters at each marked location with an M8 bolt. Be careful when handling the microinverter. Don't lift it by the AC cable and don't install it in areas exposed to direct sunlight, rain, or snow. Ensure there's sufficient space for ventilation around the microinverter. To ground the microinverter, you have three options. The first option is to ground the microinverter through the AC bus cable. This cable has an embedded GND wire to ground microinverters in the backup controller. The second option is to ground the microinverter on the rack. Only do so if the rack is grounded. You can use the grounding washer on the microinverter to create a tight bond for a grounding connection. The third option is to use a copper wire. This will likely be your choice if an external connection is necessary. Attach the copper wire to the grounding lug on the microinverter's grounding port and connect them to the ground. Now, let's connect the microinverter to the AC bus cable. Connect the microinverter AC connector to the bus cable connector. You should hear a click. If you need to disconnect the branch cable from the bus cable, use the bus cable unlocking tool. Seal unused connectors with the bus cable connection caps for their protection. Use a bus cable end cap to seal the end of the AC bus cable. Solar module connection. To connect the microinverter to your solar panels, use a DC extension cable. Connect the MC4 cables from the solar module to the closest set of ports on the microinverter. Remember to remove the UID slash serial number labels from the microinverter and place them on both the solar panel frame and your solar panel array diagram. This will help indicate which microinvert is connected to the solar panel. Then, connect the MC4 cables from the other solar module to the other set of microinverter ports. Secure the solar modules on the rack with screws. Remember to use DC male or female connector caps to seal the unused port on the microinverter for protection. Now, it's time to mount the Zigbee dongle. The Zigbee dongle is a communication unit. It serves as a bridge between your solar power system and smart devices. It can be mounted on a wall or placed on a flat surface or furniture close to a power outlet. If you need to mount it on a wall, please refer to the installation manual for more details. Once mounted, install the Wi-Fi antenna and the Zigbee antenna. Connect the AC adapter to the power port on the back of the Zigbee dongle and plug the AC adapter into the AC electrical outlet. Finally, it's time to connect the Zigbee dongle to the internet. To do this, use either an ethernet cable or the Wi-Fi antenna. For an ethernet connection, connect the ethernet cable to the ethernet port on the back of the Zigbee dongle. Then, connect the ethernet cable to a spare port on your router. To connect via Wi-Fi, make sure the Wi-Fi antenna is installed properly on the Zigbee dongle. 
Once everything is installed, you're ready to commission the system. Watch our Anchor Solex Microinverter commissioning video for a step-by-step -step guide. Anchor Solex. Live in power.